Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here and we have breaking news for the Pokemon Horizon series. The third chapter in the series has been officially announced and it is called the Terrestrial Debut Arc. And it involves Liko, Roy, and Dot enrolling at the Academy in Paldea. And they're each going to get a Terrestrial, Terrestrial Orbs. As you can already tell by the uh, poster here, Liko's already uh, showing this off. And then we have a bunch of new characters that are going to be appearing within this arc. So, um, yeah, there's a lot to talk about here. So, uh, let's get started. But real quick before we get started, if you're someone that's brand new to the channel and you like this type of content, it'd be pretty cool if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that notification bell, and watch the video to the end. All these factors really do help. I cover the Pokemon Horizon series, whether it's in videos like this, upcoming episode titles or summaries. I also do live streams where... Typically it's on Saturdays around noon Eastern time zone where me and a couple of viewers uh, kind of get together and we uh, chat about the episode and kind of our thoughts and we assign a rating to the episode. I also do live streams for video games and all kinds of other stuff as well. And I have some funny shorts that come out from time to time as well. So uh, yeah, if this is something you're interested in, uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video, hit that notification bell, and watch to the end. Anyways, um, on to the video. Now, starting off with the poster and kind of looking at what we see here, we're going to start off with the human characters that are making their debut within the next chapter of Pokemon Horizons, at least the ones we know for sure. There's probably more that are out there that I'll talk about here in a little bit. But for the ones that are absolutely confirmed, we have the Elite Four for the Paldea region showing up within this arc. We have Larry, who technically already made his debut in Horizons back in Episode 18, but that was more of a cameo. More than anything, he's making an actual appearance where he will probably interact with our main characters here for the first time within the series. So, yeah, Larry. Then we have Rika, Poppy, and Hassel as well. And I'm very excited for these characters and see how their personalities are like within this series. I'm super excited. But besides them, we have two gym leaders that are confirmed to be debuting here. We have Katie, the bug-type gym leader. And then we have Brassius, the Ice-type gym leader. Looks like Iono and Brassius are also uh, making an appearance within this arc as well. So that's cool. And it looks like Nimona is returning as well. So that's super exciting. Okay, so uh, next up, the Pokemon. And let's get the elephant out of the room out of the way right now. Yeah, Sprigatito is evolving here very soon. Um, and by very soon, I'm pretty sure it's happening in episode 45 now. I think this is absolute confirmation that that's going to be the case since... This arc is going to begin on April 12th. We're probably going to have a one-week break between uh, episode 45 and then episode 46. So, we got uh, Spiritito's evolution here. That's uh, the one that's uh, front and foremost here. But besides Spiritito, it looks like Grimmy Ghoul is going to make its actual debut. Technically, it made its debut when uh, Professor Willow showed up uh, the other week in that short. At the end of episode 42, but... um. I don't know if I necessarily count that. This is more of an official debut within the series. So, uh, yeah, we have Mabostiff. Hmm. More on that later. We have other uh, Pokemon that are debuting as well, besides Mabostiff. We have Shroodle and its evolution. It looks like Toads of Cruel is uh, appearing here, unless it's already appeared within the series. I can't really remember, but to my knowledge, this is the first time I've seen it within Horizons. We have Capsicid. And, yeah. Also, it looks like Pomot. I believe that's Pomot. I think Pomot was the one that showed up before with uh, Nimona. So it looks like maybe it evolved at some point in off-screen land. But yeah, that's uh, our Pokemon debuts that are confirmed to be happening within Horizons. At least this arc, that is. And now speculation time, because uh, there's a lot of different directions they could take with this arc. With the characters. And I'm really curious to see how all the interactions are going to be like. I can see Nimona wanting to battle Liko, Roy, and Dot all the time. I'm very curious to see how the gym leaders are going to be like and the Elite Four members. But I'm really curious to see what direction that Liko, Roy, and Dot are going to be taking as they enroll in the Academy. Obviously, we're not getting rid of the Rising Volt Tacklers. They're still going to exist. <laughs> we're definitely not uh, dropping that plot anytime soon. Maybe we're just kind of enrolling in the school for now. And then we're off doing, you know, our, like assignments or whatever or looking for our own treasure because uh, you know that's the whole thing in the scarlet and violet games the treasure hunt you know finding your own treasure 
So I'm wondering if each one of the characters are going to have their own treasure to seek out and they're going to develop new goals within, you know, this arc. That's what I'm curious about. And I'm wondering if maybe we're going to be uh, taking on some of the uh, Scarlet and Violet storylines. Like maybe we take on different paths like Leco, Roy, and Dot. One goes for the Pokemon League. One goes for Team Star if Team Star actually shows up here. Or the Titan route. Which, um, yeah. That makes me curious to see if Arvin and Penny are going to be making their debuts here soon. Because uh, they're kind of crucial characters to the Scarlet and Violet games. And I'm very curious to see uh, if these two will make a debut here pretty soon. But then again, the games and the anime don't follow the same plotline. Obviously, Pokemon Horizons is doing its own thing. That's completely different from Scarlet and Violet. So... The storylines could be completely different, and they could be rewritten in a different way. Hopefully a good way, especially for Arvin's storyline, because, um, yeah, he's the best character from the Scarlet and Violet games by, like, a mile. And, uh, if Horizons kind of, you know, didn't actually do a good job with that, I'd be kind of disappointed. But, if they were to take the three routes for the characters, I could see, uh, Roy actually enrolling in the Pokemon League to get stronger. And I could see Liko maybe going for the Titan route. Maybe she wants to help out Arvin and maybe understand Mabostiff if that storyline is still intact. Otherwise, um, they could take that in a completely different direction. Where Liko basically expands on her role of understanding Pokemon's feelings. And then I can see Dot going up against Penny and Team Star. Who knows what direction they're going to be taking. Obviously, at some point we're going to be leaving and going on to probably Seno or something to find the other heroes. But for now, I'd like to see what we're going to be doing within this uh, school arc. Now, I'm wondering how Terrapagos is going to fit into all this. I mean, the whole reason we're even here in the first place is to do more research on Terrapagos. We're back in Paldea for this specific reason. So this might actually be, like, the main reason why we're actually up the Academy. Liko, Roy, and Dot may have their activities that they uh, partake in, but one of the main reasons we're here is for Terrapagos. Obviously, the Rising Volt Tacklers are not featured in this poster, and I don't think they're just going to go away. That would be kind of silly to just get rid of them. So they're probably going to be focusing on researching Terrapagos and maybe doing some other things. And maybe Liko, Roy, and Dot are also doing their own separate research while they're in the Academy. I'm not really certain how this is all going to like play out. I'm just really curious to see how Terrapagos is going to be a major player here. Because uh, that's, that's why we're here. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Terrapagos, so obviously we're going to be doing something with the little guy at some point, trying to figure out what's going on with him. Maybe we go to Area Zero. I mean, it's a possibility. Maybe we get at least an early teaser of it for now, and then we go back later on within the series. So, yeah, I'm just curious to see uh, how Terrapagos is going to be handled in this uh, upcoming arc. Now, besides Arvin and Penny potentially making an appearance here within this arc, what other characters could we potentially see here? Well, since the Elite Four is showing up in the poster, I could see Gita making an appearance here and maybe talking briefly about the Pokemon League, or maybe like Nimona mentions her and then Liko, Roy, and Dot end up meeting her or something like that. That's a possibility. Obviously, the director should be making an appearance. I mean, he's the director of the Academy, so I would expect him to show up, Clavel. And then I'm expecting some of the fac faculty to show up as well. So, uh, yeah, there's a, a lot of potential here for a lot of characters to be making their debut within the Pokemon Horizon series within this arc. And I'm all here for it, so hopefully we get to see a lot of new characters and new familiar faces from the Scarlet and Violet games. And that's all I got for now. So until we get a trailer or a synopsis for this upcoming arc, this was all just pure speculation on my part so there's nothing more for the time being so i'm gonna hand it over to you guys so what do you think is gonna be happening within this arc also keep in mind we're probably only gonna be doing this for about 20 25 episodes at most so at that point we're probably moving on and going to find the other heroes so what are we doing within this arc what do you think is gonna happen who do you think we're gonna meet that's not on this poster also, what's Liko, Roy, and Dot going to do within this arc? Do you think they're going to have their own goals? Do you think they're just going to be doing uh, 
studies at the academy, maybe like studying on terrestrializing Pokemon and maybe Terrapagos. What do you think the Rising Bolt Tacklers are going to be up to in this time? And yeah, just let me know what you think is going to happen within this arc. Post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let's start a discussion. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And yeah, have a great day or night wherever you're at, and I'll see you all later. Bye.